that was a big crossroads for me too, to figure out like, how would I combine theater and religion in my life? I grew up in Gilbert, Arizona. I have a really good relationship with my parents still to this day. Um, we're a very tight-knit family, and I'm really grateful for them. My family was very encouraging in my theatrical pursuits growing up. Theater for me was really like that top priority, and I honestly really struggled in um, other classes. <laughs> I wasn't a very good student. But I had like an active mind and I loved to think out loud with people. I had a really hard time in my classes that weren't like theater or choir. So then that's kind of like why I decided, I guess I'll do theater in college. My brother's a huge part of my UVU story. Like he's why I came to UVU. Like he's why I have so many opportunities that I found at UVU. So I'm super grateful for him and for kind of the example he set for me. I was terrified. From the, my first acting class I had, I was so scared. My teacher was asking these things of me that I didn't have to give in high school theater. For me, the hardest part was just the level of work and dedication that was expected of me as a student in college rather than a student in high school. Because in high school, is just my extracurricular, but here in college, this is my career. This is my degree track. I am coy and flirtatious when alone. Cinderella was a big moment for me. It was the first time where I felt like I didn't have to be someone else and I could just be myself. And Cinderella was a show and it was a role that was just perfect for me. It fit so well into my voice style and how I sing and how I act. And it was so affirming to be a part of something that showed me that my voice was great as it was and that I didn't need to be someone else. That was a really, really proud moment for me. A big thing for me was joining the religious studies program here on campus. I took my modern legacies class with Brian Birch, um, who is the head of the religious studies program here at UVU. And that class completely changed my life. Near the end of that semester, he just called me and he was like, hey, I have this opportunity for you. I think you'd be really interested in it. And it, he invited me to attend the student conference for religion in the public sphere. It was like this incredible opportunity to be in a room with students who cared about religion as much as I did and to be with intellectuals and academics and people who had just aspired in their field and were great examples to me. And I came back after that week from that conference in February being like, oh my gosh, I need to do this with my life. And I was like, wait, but I want to do theater, but I want to do this too. You need to get to know yourself well enough to know what you want to do and to know how it feels to be doing something that you love. And that was when I decided to add the religious studies minor. I really encourage students to just do what they love because otherwise you will not be happy. Mm -hmm.